My first experience of mediumship happened when I was around about seven years of age, when I saw a good friend of my mum and dad's who had actually passed away several weeks previously. And on reporting this episode to my parents, they were absolutely shocked. Shocked that I was able to give them information about this man, about where he was buried and all sorts of stuff that he passed on to me. But the other thing about it was I told them he was really happy. And my parents, they really didn't know what to do with me as a child when I would report on these sort of spirit people or apparitions that I saw. All I know is this gentleman had to be given oxygen. Right. I get the feeling that he lay in, in a bed with an oxygen mask on before he passed over. Yes. And I, I feel, I see, as I see him, I see you two sitting either side. That's right. And somebody's holding his hand and somebody's rubbing his head. And this is his last memories that he had. And yeah. he was a bit distressed and we were thinking, is he frightened? Is he okay? I hope everything's right. fine. And I've got to say, he's fine. And it's amazing. It was just like taking this deep breath. And then he went. This book, Intuitive Studies, really came about when I discovered that more people around me were looking for teachings rather than the mediumship that I do on a platform. So I decided to put together a course of exercises, five modules in fact, that included almost 40 exercises for students. There's two people in the accident. Sorry, but that makes sense to you because it's as I'm actually talking to the people in front of you and it's while I was doing that I saw an accident and I know that somebody it's like both people getting rushed to hospital but yeah. one person yes, didn't make yeah. it that's what I was seeing so I, I apologize I was mid message here but you would understand that then yes okay? so yeah. it's the young lady then who made the passing to the other side yeah can I just say as I was speaking to this lady there I just knew she had to get that in it's almost like she must have thrown that image of the accident into my mind so that it would be dramatic enough to get your attention okay yeah Anyone can communicate with the spirit world if they know how to open up. And really this book is a course in teaching people how to open up to the finer elements around us. And that really is mediumship. It's not everyone who will go on to work as a medium, but everyone has access to their own loved ones, their own ancestors, their own relatives who have passed on. She shows me a picture of herself very young. Yes, yeah. Very young. Yeah. And I've got to say, this is a picture that, that has takes pride of place. Yes. And she says, most mornings you, you do talk to her and say, good I morning, do. darling. Yeah. And she says, most mornings I answer you, but you don't hear me. <laughs> and, and I do feel she is like that. She's bright and bubbly, though. There's, yeah. there's, there's a brightness here. There's, there's an actually brighter than people would have thought, mm -hmm. is, is what I've got to say. There's such an expansion of mind now. Can I say that this, this child has actually grown spiritually Children do grow spiritually very quickly. But you have smelt an essence around you. Yes, yes. Because I go into a bedroom and I can smell her there. And she says, yeah. I make that scent known yeah. to you. Yeah. So that's her way of corroborating things that are happening to you, love. It's a wonderful thing to be able to teach the development that I was taught myself, to spread the word that there is no death, that life is continuous. And it's something I say to everybody, and I'll still keep saying it, and that is, you can't die. You can't die for the life of you.